Good morning, welcome to our Richmond Fixer Upper. I feel like I'm always painting, it's true. Today it's perfect painting weather, and so I'm going to be working on painting our patio furniture that we've had for several years, but it needs a refresh. So let me show you how I'm gonna do it. patio furniture, chairs, and love seat and table for several years now, and they have just been through the ringer living outside, as outdoor pieces tend to do. I want to give them a refresh, and I've already prepped them by power washing them. It was lucky because they weren't sealed, they were just stained before, and so I didn't have to do any sanding. I just did a thorough power washing, which you can see like stripped off some of the stain even, so I feel like they're really well prepped for this paint. I'm just gonna paint them with an outdoor urethane so that they stand up to the moisture and the humidity and the sunshine and all of the elements of being outdoors. If you followed along at all with my channel, Live Free Miranda, or our Richmond Fixer Upper series, then you know that I love the paint sprayer. This one in particular has been my very favorite. It's the Home Right Finish Max Super. One thing that I love about this sprayer is that it's super easy to set up and use as a total amateur. I also love that I can pour the paint straight from the can without thinning it and have it still have wonderful results. So it's less work for me and it still works great. When you open your box, this is what you're going to have inside. You're gonna have the machine itself that has this short cord, so you definitely are gonna be using an extension cord when you're using this sprayer. You're also going to have some different tips. You can see it comes installed with a green tip right here. You also have a red tip and a blue tip, and you have another sprayer tip. So this one's black. I also have a yellow one, and then I have a cap for if I want to leave paint inside the canister, clean out the machine but leave some paint here in the canister between projects, I can just put the cap on. And then I have this fun little brush that I can use for cleaning really well when I'm finished with my painting. And you're ready to go. Now let me show you how I'm going to set up the sprayer for use with my patio furniture. The paint that I'm using today is this emerald urethane trim enamel from Sherwin-Williams. I used it before on my interior trim, and when I talked to the guys today in the Sherwin-Williams store, they told me that it is one of the best products for outdoor use. It's gonna have a really hard washable finish that will withstand the moisture and the humidity and be able to um, be great for my outdoor furniture. So I'm excited to put this on and get started. So to get started, I have set up my furniture on a drop cloth and sometimes I might use a spray shelter, but it's so nice today. It's a little bit breezy. My lawn has not been mowed so that I can get some overspray on it and mow it off and it'll be no problem. That's my setup. And then to get started, really all I have to do is unscrew the canister down here. And I want you to see that there's this kind of like a straw. That's what sucks up the paint within there. That just hooks right on. It's there like that already. And then I just pour my paint in here, screw it back on, and get spraying. Once I have my paint loaded and my cord plugged in, I can just start spraying. I'm gonna do a test spray just over here on my drop cloth to make sure that I have some smooth paint coming out. So when it's up and down, I want to spray in a motion of up and down because I've got a horizontal line. When I turn the cap to be horizontal, I want my arm to be going horizontal because I have a nice vertical line. You want your spray pattern of where you move the machine to follow the pattern of where you've got your tips. One other thing that you can see is I have a knob here where I can adjust the quantity of paint that's coming out. So if it's not spraying very well, I'm gonna roll it up towards the plus sign. If I want less paint, like it's spurting or I'm getting an uneven spray pattern, I can lower the amount of paint coming out and that can help even out my spray pattern. Okay, I loaded up my paint, I plugged it in, I tested my spray and now I'm ready to go. I'm going to spray vertical to get the faces of all of these little spindly boards, and then I'm gonna turn it horizontal and come at an angle from the top so that I can get the top parts of the boards and then at the bottom so I can get the bottom part. It's so much easier to do patio furniture that has all of the different faces and spindles with a sprayer than it would be if I was going in there with a brush or a roller, so I'm excited to just knock it out. Thank you. 
Well, that took about three minutes, and I've got a first light coat over the whole chair. I'm gonna let it dry so that I can go back and do another light coat, and also so I can flip it over and get the undersides and all the other little nooks that I can't get while it's sitting upright. It's so easy and so fast. I love it. what kind of coverage you get with one canister full of paint before you have to switch. I was able to do a first light coat on these three pieces, two chairs and this love seat, all the way around with one canister of paint. Everything was dry enough to flip them over. You can see that most of it is painted, but I've got to get these bottom edges. This is the easiest way to do that. I reloaded, so I'm ready to just spray it again. Over, and now I'm just gonna go over them again with another light coat. It covered so well with the first coat with this great enamel paint from Sherwin-Williams that I think that I'm gonna be good with just two coats, but I won't know until it's all the way dry and I take a look at it. Easy is just doing the same thing one more time and seeing how great it looks. And that's it, easy as that. I've completely transformed these patio furniture pieces from old, kind of ratty looking, used up furniture that someone might want to replace rather than restore. And with some great paint and the Home Right Finish Max Super Paint Sprayer, quickly turn them into this beautiful new looking set that's gonna hold up to the weather, be durable, and look great for years to come. Thank you so much for being here at our Richmond Fixer Upper on the Live Free Miranda channel. We are sharing videos every week about our renovation in Richmond, Virginia. Also DIYs and crafts and recipes and other things upcoming. So make sure that you subscribe and that you show up so that we can inspire you to live a creative, adventurous life.